do you want an artist name? Like, we have to make it a big thing. Iconopap and Andrew. We're here at Highlands in the West Village. I'm very excited this morning to have breakfast with Iconopop, Caroline and I know they're old friends of mine. I met them in Stockholm years and years and years ago before they ever kind of made it big. They're the, probably the most positive musicians I've ever met in my life. And begin. <laughs> <laughs> You guys met, one of you was going through a breakup. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was my first heartbreak. Right. That hurt so much, like, not only mentally, but physically as well. It really hurts. And I understand every love song, which sounds so geeky, <laughs> yeah. but you're like, sick of love song. <laughs> I was lying in a bed for two weeks, totally destroyed. And then I met Caroline, and she gave me so much energy. We found each other through the music in a time where we both needed each yeah, other. Very, like... I was very frustrated and down because nothing was working with my music. I, my love life was, what love life, you know, it, nothing. <laughs> and then when I met I know, it was just like electricity, you know? Mm -hmm. From Sweden, we left uh, to London and we started to DJ a lot. We were so poor that we were sleeping on floors. We were actually living the dream because we realized that we didn't have anything, but we had the music. Yeah. And I think it's something very beautiful. When you don't have anything, you get so creative. We were so busy, but we didn't have anyone telling us to do stuff. We were hustling so much. When we went to record the I Love It video, we didn't have any money so we asked one of our best friends to come with us to Paris because we had two DJ gigs there. We just filmed the video and now it's like over 40 million views and it's the yeah. cheapest video ever made because yeah, it costs he, like he just a the... friendship. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Your songs sound happy but they're really really sad. Well yeah actually <laughs> we kind of like to disguise our heartbreak stories in a little bit happier yeah. melodies. Make it a little fun. It sounds kind of silly, but it can be a kind of painful process. You're so tired when you walk up the stage because you've been through all the emotions. <laughs> Your last it's like five short... breakups. Yeah. yeah. You're like, my heart is broken all the <laughs> Do you have a new karaoke go-to? Cisco, Thong Song. Yeah. Very good. We do that together as well. If we would be like together, we like would be such a, a perfect really, if you couple. Were lesbians? Yeah. yeah, if we were lesbians, <laughs> we would we be would the perfect be tattoo, couple. but for real. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Then we would have the perfect relationship. But we would be like the boring couple because yeah. everything would be like so mellow. You're great. No, you're great. No, you no, are you're the best. Great. You're you're great. Know, and you don't even talk <laughs> to each other. You just like hand the other one the newspapers and like drink your coffee, pour up some milk for the other one. I remember you guys telling me a story <laughs> that you were performing in northern Sweden and it was like. A kid's, birthday <laughs> a kid's birthday party or something ridiculous. And you showed up in this little town and there were like five people. Oh, no, no it was one. one. And that was oh, the sound engineer. One person? That yeah, was that was the sound, sound engineer. engineer. But and it, it was, was like the winter time. It's too no. cold in Sweden. No, it was, it was summer. Oh. And I'm listening to the Yeah, no, no, no. no you can't excuses. sugarcoat this story because it was summer and in, up in the north of Sweden, so the sun never goes down. Right. So it was like so hot, the sun in our faces, no one there, and we had to perform in front of the sun engineer. The yes. rule is usually <laughs> like, don't perform if you're more people on stage than in the audience. And we were two persons on stage, so. But you did it. We did yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were like... Best show of your lives. Actually, yeah, I We think had so. a really good, a good show. show. I wish people saw it. Yeah. Our first gig in New York, you were in a line outside. I didn't get in. No, I didn't it was get in. Yeah. I'm actually looking forward to get really old. <laughs> yeah, like 70, be a little cranky and yeah. like... Yeah, and I think I'm not gonna have any hair, but a little... <laughs> <laughs> and a few straws that are so red, and I'm just gonna... <laughs> One of our superpowers is actually that we can fall asleep whenever because when you we have to. Yeah, because you don't know when Should you're gonna we try sleep. Should try it right now? <laughs> <laughs> if you see two girls sleeping in the corner of an airport, That's oh, you. it's a kind of pop, but it's a little bit like, yeah. awkward if someone wakes you up when you're on the floor. Yeah. And you Sorry, always are you like kind of pop, and you're just like drawling. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> I want to be one of your like roadies. Or you roadies. could be the third member of Icon of Pop. I'm trying. Yeah. I tried. I it, wrote about it in Teen Vogue. Yeah. There you guys are. Yeah. I wrote, could this duo be a trio? I'll start my vocal warm ups now. Do you want an artist name? Like, we have to make it a big thing. 
I kind of pop and Andrew B. Yeah. Yeah. Little BB. I love that. <laughs> we started to write a song, I don't know if you remember, Eggshelf. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Walking on Eggshelf. I kind of pop featuring BB. BB Shelf. <laughs> it's going to be a hit. For more episodes of Breakfast with Bevan, subscribe to the Teen Vogue channel and tell us what you think. <laughs> we should actually maybe perform a song here. Eggshell. Eggshell. <laughs> should I quit my day job to join Iconopop? Check out the bonus footage to see what happens.